Silver Point today, and we're gonna explore some tide pools. You may be wondering, why do I have nails and a magnet at the beach? But we'll get to that in just a second. Let's go see what we can find. Cool, do you see this prehistoric looking creature down here? This is called a chitin. Chitons have another long name called polyplacophora, which means the bearer of many plates. This is a fitting name because every chitin has exactly eight overlapping plates. These eight plates are really hard and help protect them from predators. The plates are also jointed, which allows the chitin to roll up into a tight ball when disturbed. Chitons have a thick muscular foot that runs the whole length of their body. This foot allows them to move along the rock really slowly, kind of like a slug on land. The foot also helps them stick very tightly to rock. This chitin, the mossy chitin, is pretty small. The largest chitin in the world is the gumboot chitin, which is roughly the size of my boot. Unlike humans, chitons don't have eyes. Rather, they have light sensitive organs that help them determine where in the intertidal they may be. Chitons have a neat way of eating. They use a structure called a radula. The radula is a rasping tongue that moves around in a circle. As the chitin is going across the rock, the sharp teeth are scratching off algae. The teeth are not only sharp and pointy, but they're also covered in magnetite, making the teeth very magnetic. It's just like this bucket of nails. So the next time you're down at the beach, why don't you take a look through the tide pools and see if you can find one of these prehistoric critters. In fact, if you find that tide pool, that same mossy chitin will probably still be there. This is Natasha Ewing with Ocean Networks Canada, signing off from Clover Point.